I thought varsity would be a blast for me, but tertiary's nearly been a hearse for me. No longer that bright eyed first year with the high top fade. That guy died and I got shaved. Full head of hair cut off by the clipper of life's coldness and cruelty. Fading hairline, fading faith. And now the boy's bald in more ways than one. This, my mirror in time, and the reflection looks strikingly different. Varsity hopes, the last semester. Still in Bramfontein JHB. Studying and staying in the city of dreams. Sipping on sights of sisters who are crispy and cream. Do you see all these women? They drip in their steam. That's why I'm praying God will take my dirty soul, grip it and clean. The world changed dramatically. Now I'm navigating varsity blues in the midst of SARS-CoV-2. Flipping through textbook pages and clicking on links with my frequently sanitized fingers. In fact, let me walk you through a normal night in the semester of a senior student. They say knowledge is great, it's power. So we chow course, the taste of power. Pages devoured reading cases for hours. After lingering in the library looking at legislation, the legs of the lonely lawyer stroll across a cool and quiet campus and head back to res. For someone like me, it's brutal how busy this campus gets during the day as bodies bustle about amidst brutalist buildings. But at night, my 24-year-old old soul finds campus to be peaceful and pretty with its ancient Greek and contemporary architecture. Strolling by the fountain at the lawns of East Campus, as water smelling of hope bubbles and its fresh scent dances in my nostrils. Varsity hopes, the last semester, doing tasks of assessors, scoring academic goals, Jamie Vardy at Leicester or Erling Haaland the centre. But sometimes I'm on that Chelsea Timo tip. Can't believe I went from aiming to be part of the magna cum class to just hoping that I'll manage to pass. But nevertheless, I'm still constructing the mind of Sherlock Holmes. I want my mental address to be 221B Baker Street, furnished with intellectual beds and sheets, plates and seats. And I'm grateful to the maker of my mind that I made it onto the Dean's list. Varsity hopes, the last semester, to get that degree, I need to pass the test first. Grab a seat in each class for lectures so I can imitate Jessica P or be a Harvey Specter. Sadly, my worst fear from first year materialized. That faith I was firm in fizzled out and faded away. If belief in God is an emotion, then I suffer from mood swings. Cynic today, but then pious tomorrow. Joyful, but then crying in sorrow. Full of faith, but at the next point in time, hollow. Christian, but then atheism timeously follows. I've also become cynical about squads. I've lost faith in friendship. It wears me down to keep picking up plugs that keep falling out of their wall sockets. So I'm tempted to just leave them all unplugged. Varsity hopes of a hopeless romantic. This student had romantic varsity hopes. Shattered and the heart in me broke. Years later you can still feel the glass pieces poke because the healing of a heart lesion is slow. To rephrase Rocky Balboa, the punches in the Russian ring of romance broke things in me that ain't never been fixed. And that's how my university story went from PG-13 Disney classic to R-rated Shakespearean tragedy. From Fred Norman's high school musical to saying hello to Othello. From Beauty and the Beast to making the beast with two backs. And now Othello lay dead due to his indomitable desire for his dark-skinned Desdemona. And now I'm less Daniel and more Nebuchadnezzar, more pagan than pious, less David, more Goliath. I've fallen from heaven and I've been trying to fly back ever since. 
lisedi laka litimme lina ledi yaka iwile lihodimong varsity hopes the last semester to ascend the stairs to the great hall then enter there hear my name called at the university a hundred years old it's kind of magical that i'm getting my wits llb degree during the centenary but auntie millie can't celebrate with me because she sleeps in a cemetery on this long night ma has been tucked into the bed of death and won't wake up on time for my graduation but that's okay i hope to tell her all about it in the morning when the sun rises and wakes her up and at least sarah's seed and the time i can celebrate with me as i collect my latin legum baccalaureus from the vitz school of law you can find articles on the next page of the magazine of my life on the road to becoming benny makulwani esquire varsity hopes the last semester the final chapter of a thick textbook the conclusion of an experiential essay finally filling in the footnotes of the ferocious and fun friends you have had as a student time to publish this paper in the journal of history express